what I'm giving you now is a, it's called the anticipation guide. And if you look on the left, first of all, just take a minute and read the directions. And then today in the classroom, we use different formative assessment strategies. One of the things we used was a formative assessment Good. guide. Um, so our anticipation guide. All right, let's do the first one together. So on the left, before the reading or before the lesson, is what we're looking at, seeing what you remember, what you can recall. Um, and then on the right, at the end of the lesson, we'll come back and see what you learned. You could change this, keep this on your desk throughout the lesson, and you could change this throughout the lesson. Um, now, the first one, of course, A, if you agree, D, if you disagree. So the first one, read the first one for us, Jalay. The coastal range is known for its fertile valleys along the west coast. Okay, that's right. The coastal range is known for its fertile valleys along the west coast. So, um, if you agree with that, you'd put an A. If you disagree, you'd put a D. Um, the great thing about the formative assessment guide is it allows you to um, pre-assess students' knowledge of a certain topic before the actual lesson and the learning takes place. And then throughout the lesson and at the end of the lesson, they could come back and you could review with them the answers that they pick. Um, now, I just gave you a little index card, something very simple, okay? On one side, you have a green A. On the other side, you have a D. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Um, the Colorado River helped form the Grand Canyon. If you think that's true, hold up an A. If you think so for false, instance, um, one of the ones we did today, Virginia is a part of the coastal plain region. So if they agreed with that, they would put an A. If they disagreed, they'd put a D. Throughout the lesson, they would find out, yes, Virginia is on the Coastal okay. Plains region, the and at the end of the lesson, they should have put an A for agree. And of course, we use today index cards with an A and a D on both sides. So at the beginning, we could check as the teacher from the front throughout the classroom if they agreed or disagreed. And then at the end of the class, we could go back and see if their answer changed to either A for agree, D for disagree. You could put this to the side now. Again, throughout the lesson, if you recognize something that you put that was wrong or you want to change something, just go back and change it because at the end, we're going to fill this out. But if you, again, as we're going through the learning process, if you see something, you could put an answer there and we'll check it at the end. These type of strategies help you find out where the students are in the learning process. Um, it could be something as simple as vocabulary or it could be something related to the content or something deeper in a concept that you're trying to learn during the class. But I found that as you take time, as you use formative assessment strategies at the beginning, in the middle, and then at the end, you get a chance to find out where your students are and if you need to continue to reteach or remediate those lessons. Because at the end of this lesson, you should be a little bit more prepared to list and describe the North American regions. Okay, we worked on listing them yesterday, we'll do it some more today, and then we'll work some more today on describing them, the different characteristics. So, that's your learning goal. So, on the top there where it says learning goal in your notes, you could go ahead and write in there your actual learning goal for today, listing and describing the geographic regions. All right, last one. This one, I don't know if y'all, y'all might need your books for this one. You might need your books for this one here. Um, really? Virginia is located in... The formative assessment strategies that we use are not graded. They're a tool um, for the teacher as well as the student to find out where they are in the learning of the lesson throughout the unit. And as a teacher, um, it's helpful to me, but at the same time, it helps me in giving them graded assignments further along throughout the lesson. So if the students are grasping the material through the formative assessment, I know, okay, great, they got this, I can move on and give them this graded assignment now. Okay. So, the answer is... Oh, wow, okay, very good. So, everyone got those right. Here's what I would like you to do now. Okay, if you would take back out your anticipation guide, um, and so now that, we've, now that we've done the PowerPoint, we talked about the regions and 
um, their characteristics. We did our Plickers review. Um, now I would like you to do the after part that's on the right side. Using formative assessment strategies and using different ones in the class have really helped me out. It's really kept the learning fresh for the kids. Um, it's excited them because they get to see, I'm getting this, I'm learning this. So they don't wait until the end of the week for a test to find out, I don't know anything about this. But they get to find out that day, two or three times throughout the day, as you use different formative assessment strategies to help the kids and to help yourself to know where they are. Um, the Coastal Plain includes excellent harbors. That's where we live, the Coastal Plain. Excellent harbors, A or D, and it should be, looks like it's unanimous, A. All right, very good, boys and girls. Excellent job.